and this is James and today we're going to talk about the causes and treatment of pezanserine bursitis. So pezanserine bursitis gives you pain on the front of the knee towards, uh, towards the inside. Sometimes it can creep a little bit further back towards the joint line of the knee. Not to be confused with a meniscal tear or uh, with a MCL strain. Typically with those type of injuries there is a mechanism or a, a sudden onset based on an activity or trauma. Usually with pezanserine bursitis it builds up over time. When you're looking at a cause, the causes for this, we are looking at things like an overload. So if you start to increase your running or increase your activity over the last couple of weeks and you start to get this irritation on the knee, that might be one cause. Um, we're looking at uh, environmental factors that may be your job. So if you're up and down stairs a lot where you're loading, maybe carrying something up and down those stairs, it may be causing an increased stress going through that region. Um, other factors would be if you have a flatter foot, again, can be bringing that knee into that position where it's straining along that area. Um, from a diagnostic perspective, we're looking at pain that is very specific to that area when we're palpating on it and going through your kind of subjective history of how this, the symptoms have developed. Um, you can go down ultrasound guide, ultrasound scanning even, uh, where it can look for any inflammation around that area and it has to show that it is in that pezanserine area for us to diagnose it with some ultrasound scanning too. Um, when it's in these kind of severe cases, you can go down MRI again that would be like James had mentioned to make sure that there isn't any meniscal cause or any MCL strain that is kind of masquerading as pain that is coming from that area. To treat pezanserine bursitis, we typically look at muscular imbalances that may be overloading the tendon and the bursa. A bursa is a sac full of fluid. Its function is to work as a cushion to stop tendons rubbing off bones. As the pezanserine tendon comes across the side of the knee, it goes over a bursa. If it irritates that, the bursa can become inflamed. And in really irritable cases, the first stage of our rehabilitation is about offloading that bursa and getting it to calm down again. Sometimes if we begin strengthening exercise too early in these cases it can make it a little bit worse so we offload initially and then we begin rehabilitation with strength mobility and stability exercises so that might be looking at uh, simple things like how you're going up and down the stairs we might look at running gait analysis might have a chat about your footwear uh, depending on your foot position uh, we might talk about if you need an extra bit of support underneath your foot that can be as simple as getting a stability trainer or an off-the-shelf insole just to tilt where the force goes through your knee. Other treatments might involve a steroid injection if we're struggling to get the bursa to calm down. That would be ultrasound guided and the aim is to apply direct steroid into the bursa that works as an anti-inflammatory to calm it down. This is very much addressing the symptoms. We still have to continue with physio to address any imbalances that we find during your assessment. If you have any experience of having pezanserite bursitis, just let us know in the comments as well. And then if you have any questions on how to manage it, you can also throw them down there too. We also have some exercises which are below that show some simple strength exercises that can improve anyone that is suffering from pezanserine bursitis.